Never in the history of record keeping from the Japan Meteorological Agency out here in the tropical western Pacific has a storm ever crossed from the Indian Ocean over towards the western Pacific Basin. And it does look like Cyclone Senyar is the first to do that. It crossed over Malaysia here after starting off in the Straits of Malacca and then pushing off towards north and east. Very rare. It's so far towards the south near the equator that getting a tropical system is just rare to start. But what's happening is typically it's would drift towards the west but there is something happening it's koto also known as verbena located here off the coast of vietnam and due to the fact we had a little bit of a storm system right here you have this storm part of the overall monsoon just basically controlling the general weather pattern it's a bit of a fujiwara effect pulling it towards the north and east just like this and basically causing it to wrap around now is this two storms merging and becoming a superstorm? no and not even at all I mean, to be honest uh, this cyclone when it was at its peak looking like this just off the coast of Kuala Lumpur it was not looking super organized but it did get that kind of tropical storm weak tropical storm tropical depression that is weak tropical storm designation but if we take a look for example here at the ECMWF model from Windy you can kind of see as that low pressure center right there drifts towards the north and it just basically gets skewed all together. There's a lot of shear out here, part of the northeast monsoon, still just adding rainfall to Vietnam. And by the way, and not to take away from the fact that Indonesia and Malaysia have been seeing serious flooding from this cyclonic system over the last few days. So despite the nomenclature it has or where it's headed, it is still a very serious and ongoing threat with all the heavy rain and deadly floods we have been seeing across this area. So I think sometimes that gets put in the background over statistics uh, here. And this needs to be kind of the forefront of what's actually happening. So yeah, it, it is still interesting though. It is the first time ever recorded by the Japan Meteorological Agency is it the first time ever happening probably not this likely has happened before but here in 2025 we have a lot of data on the ground we have good radar to kind of show on satellite this didn't look very organized and in the past it may have not even been named by uh the indian meteorological organization here or jtwc so you know it, it, it was weak, got pulled towards north here, wrapping around Koto. It's a very interesting nomenclature type event here. Um, the first time ever a system, technically in the Indian Ocean, has crossed over to the Western Pacific Basin. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetty. If you have any questions or anything like that, as always, I would like to hear from you.